live the creative life, I think you're always looking for things to decorate. And really, there's nothing that comes across my path that doesn't deserve a little bit of paint or glitter or whatever for embellishing. You know, it's really funny because I was going into the kitchen getting a glass out of the cabinet last week, and I just discovered that I don't have a set of drinking glasses that match. I've got one or a couple of this or three of that. So I decided to go down to the department store and buy a set of glasses and put my own design on them using some glass etching cream. It's really easy and I can't wait to show you how. This is where I got my, uh, my inspiration for my design. It's actually a pill that we've had for a long, long time and this design here is really a simple design. There's not a lot of intricate uh, little pieces to cut around, so that's something you want to look for. I actually scanned this in with my FlipPal mobile scanner. That made it really easy to get it into my computer, and it's a lot easier than just throwing this pillow on your scanner. So once you get that done, you'll want to print out a copy of your pattern. Again, um, this is a very simple pattern. So it's about two inches by two inches. The next thing you want to do is you want to get some of this laminate paper. It doesn't necessarily have to be clear, but the top side of it is vinyl and of course it's got a sticky back. And you'll apply some painter's tape to the front of it. Now you could trace your pattern right onto the clear paper that works, but I will tell you that it is a little hard to see your design um, when you're trying to cut it out. So that's why I use this painter's tape. Plus, this makes it a little easier to cut out. All right. Now you can go up to a window or if you have a light box handy, you can use a light box. And you're going to place your design down with your clear plastic thingy over the top of it and take your marker and you're going to trace around just like this. It's a pretty forgiving project and it doesn't have to be super uh, specific. Okay, so you're going to trace all the way around your design and when you get finished then you'll have this. So I've separated the two pieces. I'm pulling off the white backing here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of eye this. I don't really measure a whole lot of anything. I just kind of eye. Um, the most important thing that you want to do is set your center down first, right here. All right. Set this area down first and then work from the center out to kind of lay that flat. If your drinking glasses are kind of concave like mine are, what you can do is you can go in and you can just add a couple little snips on each side and then press that down. It doesn't matter, you might not be able to see that, but there's a wrinkle right here in the plastic and that just does not matter. Okay, so smooth your pattern then, push down onto your plastic. If it doesn't want to settle down, give it a couple quick snips or three or whatever, whatever works and lay that down because this is really what we're creating here is just a mask. Okay, We're actually going to come in with our craft knife and we're going to cut out the center of this design. Now that your design is all cut out, what you'll do is you will lift the center portion out with your knife. And this is real helpful um, to use your knife for to get any uh, little areas that are tight or that are thin. Because remember, this is the mask. Okay, So I kind of want to be a little precise with this part here. So before you add your etching cream, what you'll want to do is you want to make sure that you have all of these delicate little edges pressed flat so that your etching cream doesn't get up underneath any of those little areas. So just kind of go over with your thumb, your finger, and just press those areas down. And also make sure that you have cut out what you want cut out because anything that is exposed will etch. Okay, and I missed a little spot right here. 
holes. We'll go in and we'll take that off. The etchy cream that we're using is a gel, kind of a jelly or a paste form. It's actually pretty thick, but it is uh, caustic to your skin. So you want to make sure that you do not get this on your skin. And this isn't really a project for your little ones, especially since we're using the craft knife and whatnot. But you're going to daub on a pretty nice, generous um, amount of this etching cream. Give that a real good coat, and then we're going to let this sit for five minutes. It's very important that you use a timer and have only five minutes. I love this part because this is the reveal. So I've left it on for five minutes exactly, set a timer, went in, washed it off, make sure, again, that you don't get any of this on your hands, just use your sprayer on your uh, on your sink, and then all you have to do is lift your pattern off, and you can see you've got a beautiful etched design in five minutes.